Hi everyone, I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute. Today I'm really excited to show you guys how to make floral head crowns out of fresh flowers. It's prom season and I had another girl a couple of weeks ago ask me to make a floral head crown and we have another one to do today for a prom this weekend so I decided what the heck, I'll share it with you guys. Step one is going to be getting a base and I just happen to have these outside in my yard on a plant and so if you don't have something that you can use just around outside then you can totally buy something similar to this at the floral shop. Um, it needs to be something with a little bit sturdy, uh, more sturdy stick and it also needs to be and so I'm going to start out and just take a piece of wire which I'm using a 24 gauge and if I could change anything today it would be to have this in green instead of silver. Okay first um, next I'm going to prep my roses and so these are kind of a more delicate they will snap off and I think that roses are about the only ones that do it so I'm gonna leave about that much stem and that's probably an inch and a half to two inches and what you have to do with the roses is take your wire and so you can see you want to take this and actually thread it through the flower so you can see just above there I threaded it through and it comes out the other side. And then I'm just gonna pull that wire down and that's what I will wrap around the crown. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get those all prepped and then I'll be able to start adding things onto the crown. that I'm going to be working with. I got this little filler as well as a little bit of baby's breath but I don't want to use just a ton of that. Um, I have this one and I don't even know what it's called. I got this in a pack at the grocery store and I'm going to add this for a little bit of color but it stinks really bad so I don't want uh, the prom date to go what is that smell on her so and then I got these little mini hydrangeas I've never even oh they're so adorable and then my, of course my roses and then I've kept and cut off a bunch of the leaves because we want the greenery on there as well so I'm just gonna start on one side of this and I'm gonna pick the part that has the sturdiest stem to make the bigger section because this particular crown is gonna have like a, um, a bigger clump and then um, be small the rest of the way around. And so what I want on this one, because you can do these however you want, you could take and just wire on little tiny roses all the way around. And you'll use the same technique in all of what I'm going to show you. But I'm gonna start with a bigger rose. I like this one. So I'm just gonna take it, and as you can see right here, I'm just gonna lay the rose on there. This is the front of the crown. I'm just gonna lay that on there and all I'm gonna do is start twisting these wires around and wire it down to where it is on and secure. So, so easy.
finished. This was a little bit stressful for me, um, just because this is a little bit more complicated. But if you just keep going on it, you can do it. And what I would recommend for you guys, um, before you get to this point, maybe go outside and pick some wildflowers and practice with those first, and then you're not wrecking expensive flowers that you purchased. So for storage, you want to get a pan. It can be any kind of pan, but because I'm delivering this to somebody else, I have this pan and it has several wet paper towels and they're just really wet. And so I'm gonna take my wreath and place it in there very gently. I have to be careful with those flowers. And I'm even going to just spritz them a little bit with some water. And then we will also place another wet paper towel on top of them. And then we're going to put that on there and keep it in the refrigerator until it's ready to go. You can keep it like this, um, make it a couple of days ahead of time before you need it, and um, then just take it out when you're ready. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.